Hello everybody, this is AG here and welcome to the Nashville Super Speedway. We are back in the HERS Dash series. Once again, thank you so much for everyone's patience while I took some time off, but it's great to be back and running this great series once again. We had a very interesting race last time out at South Boston. We should be in store for another very interesting race here at the Nashville Super Speedway. Originally did not have this track on the schedule, um, but I figured this would be a better track than Gateway. We already went to Gateway in real life a couple weeks ago, but we're kind of on the tail end of the uh, Nashville weekend in real life here, so I figured we'd just go ahead and then move these guys to Nashville. We should be in store for the great one. 31 laps here around this one third mile racetrack. And there will be a cycle of pit stops as well, but hopefully, unlike last time, we will not have these guys uh, wreck during that green flag cycle, if it does happen to be a green flag cycle. But we're excited to see how this all goes down. Been a very interesting season so far. Johnny Bastuco, the points leader by nine points already. That's almost a full race. That's actually a second place finish uh, compared to someone not getting any points. Um, he was second at Daytona and then won at South Boston two weeks ago. Ace Garcia, Ian Hall and Mark Moore all nine points behind with 12 points towards the championship. And then our pole sitter, Addison Gerald, with 11 points behind. 10 points total, 11 points behind. Bazduko coming into today's event here from the Nashville Super Speedway. Of course, the starting lineup in this series determined by the fastest lap from the prior event. Of course, this race, the next race was originally going to be Auto Club. Um, that'll be moved later into the season, so we're now here at Nashville, so the South Boston fastest lap determining the starting lineup here for this Nashville 65K, and Addison Gerald, Christian Master, the two fastest laps in that event, oddly enough, not Johnny Bazduco, who won at South Boston two weeks ago. Let's go ahead and get these guys to roll off here from the Nashville Super Speedway. And like I mentioned, the number 57 of Addison Gerald starting on the pole position there for Titan Fury Motorsports. The outside of him is Christian Master in the number 98. Allison Rain and Brock Nelson in row number two. Ace Garcia second in points to the inside of the 22 machine of Ian Hall. You got the 90, or the 89, excuse me, of Mitchell Henderson to the inside of John Andrews. Brian Webb to the inside of the 28 machine driven by Caleb Rose. 75 machine, Keith Kent to the inside of our points leader. The last winner, Johnny Bastuco in the number 17. Number 90 machine, Silas Order to the inside of Caleb Rose. There, the 82 is actually John Davis is farther ahead. I still can't get those two straight. 82 and 28, the same thing happens in the Wall Wall Pro Series. I can't I get them confused. <laughs> can't remember which one's which. 21 machine of Trey Smith to the inside of Mark Moore, the Daytona winner. And you got the 79 of Brandon Yodel to the inside of Alex Bouncingor. Elijah Gordon, Noah Clifton round out the full field. 20 cars, 31 laps. We're here in Music City, Nashville for the third race of the season in the HERS Dash Series. A lot going on there, just like the sprint race yesterday in the Wawa Pro Series. And for the race lead, Allison Rain takes it away from Addison Gerald, who washed it up the racetrack right there. 97 East Garcia right behind Rain, but Allison Rain with the first lap led here at Nashville. 75, Keith Kent. In third, you got Silas Orta battling there with Christian Master. That outside lane is just not where you want to be, especially earlier on. And you just get really loose there. Brandon Yodel already inside the top five. Three wide to the inside of Silas Orta and Christian Master. Here comes Elijah Gordon, who started 19th in this race. And already on the second lap of the event is looking for a top five. A little wild right now here at the Nashville Super Speedway. We saw the same thing happen in the sprint race, and it kind of caught us off guard, but we expected a little bit more here. And in the wall, Caleb Rose, number 28 machine. They're still all over the place, buzzing around, trying to find their positions on the racetrack. Meanwhile, for the race lead, Keith Kent looking to close in here. Got around Ace Garcia right there for the second position, but Allison Rain holding her ground right now in the number 8 machine. 
on lap number four. We got three wide back in here. That's John Davis to the inside of Saddle Sword and Brandon Yodel. Of course, remember, top 10 finishers receive championship points in each race here in the Hers Dash Series. If you do not finish top 10, you receive no championship points. But how about Elijah Gordon? The number 69, in just four laps, he went from 19th to 4th here at Nashville. They just were all over the place, and these guys getting loose on the racetrack is not helping. You see John Andrews had to check it up right there. Johnny Basuko outside the top 10 right now. And Trey Smith moving his way through the field. Looking to the inside of Salazorda and John Davis. Mark Moore in the 86, getting the 82 a little loose right there, but he's getting himself loose, and then that's going to open the door for the 89 and the 98. The Christian Master and Mitchell Henderson there, making some moves there back in the field. As for the race lead, Keith Kent. Has it on Allison Rain for the top position here on lap five. About a 20 lap fuel run in this race, so that cycle of pit stop will definitely affect who gets the race victory here. But uh, right now, it seems like these guys are all over the place, and that cycle of pit stops may not determine too much. I mean, it will have a big effect on who gets the race victory, but it might not be the only effect. Let's put it that way. Great run for Ace Garcia. Uh, as of right now, he would close in by six points and be three points behind Bazduko heading into the next race of the season, which we intend to be at Chicagoland, which the racing there is going to be very similar to what you're seeing right now. These guys just all over the place. We basically kind of copied Chicagoland in, in a certain way here for this Nashville race. Got a lot of battling going on here for the final point. That's the number 22 of Ian Hall moving to the inside of John Andrews. Brian Webb back in here. They're still scrambling for those top 10 positions, but the top five have kind of settled themselves out. Mitchell Henderson has kind of settled in the sixth. You got Noah Clifton, Bazduco there in eighth, Ian Hall now in ninth, and Brian Webb in the last points paying position, but beyond that, they're still trying to figure everything out. Addison Gerald started on the pole for this race, has fallen deep in the field in that number 57 machine. John Anders getting stuck on that high side there. He's going to fall back significantly in the number 41. And once again, <laughs> I have a feeling we're going to miss a lot of lead changes this weekend. We already have. Allison Rain back to the inside of Keith Kent for the top position. Only two leaders so far in this race. We had multiple, I think at, at least six different leaders in the sprint race yesterday for the Wawa Pro Series. A little bit different here today. Allison Rain, Keith Kent, and Rain washing it up the racetrack, and Keith Kent going to move back to the inside. So far, two winners we've had so far this season here in the Hurst Dash Series have never won before, and right now that streak is continuing. Neither Allison Rain nor Keith Kent have won before on the channel. However, Allison Rain does have a lot more experience than Keith Kent, but Keith Kent taking it right away. We got that lead change that time around. Lap 10 of 31 here. They've spread out kind of in these top few positions. Ace Garcia holding on the third. Trey Smith has gotten around Elijah Gordon. Gordon kind of falling back a little bit. Mitchell Henderson and Noah Clifton. They're on the pressure right now for the number 69. There goes Henderson to the inside for fifth on Elijah Gordon. Here comes Noah Clifton moving to the inside. Pastuco holding his ground fairly well as well in the eighth position. Then Ian Hall and Mark Moore in those final two points paying positions. Christian Master battling with John Davis back in there. You see these guys really shake it out there down the front stretch. With the 37 of Brock Nelson to the inside of Caleb Rose and Brandon Yodel. Silas Order in the back here as well, but right now they're just battling for possibly be the fastest lap. But even at this point, the tire wear is going to be a little too significant for anybody to get affected by that. Brandon Yodel currently has the pole position for the next race, which we intend to be at Chicagoland. And his teammate, who's leading this race in the number 75, Keith Kent. Holding on to the second fastest lap right now. And then you got Noah Clifton and Elijah Gordon. There were some fast laps there as well. Allison Rain trying to hold on here. But she's unable to get to the back bumper there of Keith Kent. But it looks like it's kind of settled down. These top two drivers here in the field. Ace Garcia in third. He's been in third pretty much this entire race. He got up to third and has just stayed there. Trey Smith in fourth. Mitchell Henderson and the seven of Noah Clifton. Pazduco. They've all gotten around Elijah Gordon, who is falling off a little bit in this number 69. And then Ian Hall, Mark Moore, swapping positions at the back of the first half of the field. Allison Rain trying to find some grip up there on that outside lane, but not much to be found. 
here at the Nashville Super Speedway on that outside lane. That line that they're driving right now is where you want to be, and now it has really kind of settled down, especially as the tires have worn out. These guys have kind of found their positions. Caleb Rose way off, number 28 machine. Caleb Rose is in the blue car. John Davis is in the red car. That's, that's what I got to remember for these guys. A tough break for Addison Gerald. He started on the pole for this race and just didn't even go anywhere at the start. Bazooka around his teammate. That is for the sixth position now as both of those guys have gotten around Elijah Gordon. Gordon had a lot of speed early on, but he lost a lot of that pretty quick. Comes Trey Smith, number 21. He's got a good run here on Ace Garcia. Garcia's been in third the majority of this race, but now Trey Smith looking to take it away. A lot of experience here, kind of behind the two leaders. Trey Smith, an Indy 250 champion. Ace Garcia, Mitchell Henderson. Trey Smith going to take it away from the 97 machine for the race lead. Keith Kent, though, holding on to this number 75 machine and keeping that uh, Otter Island Motorsports machine out front. Clifton back around. Bazduco there for the sixth position. Mark Moore looking... Very sporty right now. He's pulled away from Ian Hall there. Christian Masters, Silas Orta have gotten around the 22 machine. And Elijah Gordon's going to fall yet another position. He's now down to the ninth position. Master and Orta might close in on the 69. Now halfway through this Nashville 65K. This race is going to feel like a true dash race. No doubt about it. A bit on the shorter side for these guys, but that means they're going to have to really use every lap to their advantage, and that's what they did at the start of this race they were just battling and battling and battling and the top two have pulled away they got about two and a half seconds on the field right now but then you got Trey Smith there Christian or should I say Ace Garcia Christian Masters teammate and Mitchell Henderson kind of solidly in the third through fifth positions Master Garcia excuse me I don't know why I'm, I'm still getting used to the drivers I mean I've, I've done what three races this is the third race I've done of this series I'm still getting used to where everyone is Garcia gonna take third back away from Trey Smith that's gonna open the door for Henderson Allison Reigns coming close on Keith Kent for this race lead this race is far from over I think any of these guys can get it Garcia Henderson Trey Smith they're all right there and here we go Owls and Ring going to try on the inside. Tires were out, though. That outside lane may actually work to Keith Kemp's advantage, but a good drive off the inside, and Owls and Ring's going to take it away. Henderson for second on Ace Garcia. His pit stop's beginning. Johnny Bazduco, number 17, trying to get some points here in this race, trying to hold on to that points lead. Only unless Garcia, Hall, or Moore win this race, he will hold on to the points lead. Christian Master. And some guys in the back of the field, Brock Nelson, Brian Webb, John Anders, John Davis. And Allison Rain has taken it back away from Keith Kent. Henderson there. Two leaders coming down right now. Number 89 of Mitchell Henderson. 97 of Ace Garcia. Trey Smith, Noah Clifton, Mark Moore, and everyone except for Ian Hall coming down the pit lane. With the tire wear as significant as it is on this concrete surface, I think you want to be one of the guys coming down early in this race. Christian Master, and more notably Johnny Bazduco, may get a big advantage here coming in a lap before everyone else. The only downside is when we get to the end of the race, that tire wear is going to go in the favor of the guys who stayed out here. Ian Hall's going to lead a lap. Of course, no bonus points for leading a lap in this series. There's no bonus points at all in this series. It's the top 10 finishers each race. There's Bazduco entering turn number three right now, and then coming off the pit lane here, Allison Rain. And uh, something, I think, happened to Keith Ken. A bit of a slow stop for the 75. Keith Ken a little bit uh, off there. He's down in the clutches of Elijah Gore and Allison Rain with a good advantage, though, in the number eight machine. And here's Johnny Bazduco in the 17 machine looking to close in on these guys, but he's still a little ways behind. He'll get around Mitchell Henderson. Henderson fell back quite a bit there. Noah Clifton is second after all of that. A really good exchange there for Clifton in the number seven. Trey Smith is third, and then Keith Kent down the fourth. Elijah Gordon moving up quite a bit. So Gordon had a good pit stop. Here's Ian Hall on the 22. 
And uh, that 22 may actually gain something here. It may have actually worked out coming in a little bit later, interestingly enough. Bazooka, though, has all the momentum right now. And that 17 getting around the 69 of Elijah Gordon. That 69, I think, is just a bit off the pace compared to some of these other guys. Mitchell Henderson as well, really quick on that number 89 machine. And they just drove right around Trey Smith as well. But Trey Smith a bit off in the 21 machine. I'm wondering if some guys took two tires. That is not a good move at all. We'll see what the gap ends up closing in here between Al and Rain and Noah Cliff and Keith Kent, though. It looks like he's got a bit of an advantage now as well on that 75 machine. That may have been why these guys moved up so much. They may have just taken two tires. So uh, a very interesting strategy, but one that I do not think is going to work out for these guys who decided to take it. Elijah Gordon in the clutches of Christian Master and Mark Moore. Mark Moore's going to take it away right there from the number 69. Keith Kent's closing in. He closed up quite a bit there on Allison Rain, and there is still eight laps to go in this race. Nine laps to go, to be exact, actually. Allison Rain does have a two-second lead here on Keith Kent here. Lap 23 of 31. Looking to get her first career win on the channel. It'll be three in a row in this series for first career wins, but I don't think she's going to hold on to it. Was Duco going to take second or third away? I should say Henderson as well. The three guys who uh, took tires, and that's Keith Kent, Was Duco, and Mitchell Henderson, and they are just eating their way through this field right now. You got Brock Nelson, Silas Orta, Brian Webb, Elijah Gordon way off the pace there. I do not understand that strategy at all. Allison Rain also failed to take tires, and right around goes Keith Kent, number 75, taking the race lead away just like that. And Johnny Bastuco may very well move right back into a podium position. I mean, he's in a podium position right now. However, Henderson looking to take that away. Now, both these guys have tires. They're moving through the field very well. And their gap to Keith Kent is what's going to be interesting because there's no way Allison Rain's going to win this race. I have to see how she can hold on and see where she ends up falling, but I think both Henderson and Basuka will get around her. Same with Mark Moore and Christian Master as they took tires as well. You also have Brock Nelson, Silas Orta, Ace Garcia, and I think Alex Bongsner, they all took tires. And uh, Elijah Gordon has just been all over the place in this race. He's now outside of the points, way off the pace after that strategy move did not go his way. Here we go for second. Mitchell Henderson, Johnny Bazduco, both getting around Allison Rain. But the thing for Keith Kent, he's on that same tire strategy, and he's pulling away. Nobody in front of him either. Ian Hall at the back of the field. That strategy did not work at all, taking uh, no tires. That's why those guys had such an advantage. It just simply did not work. The way the tire wear is here at Nashville, you do not want to do that. And we may see something on a similar scale in tomorrow's Wall Wall Pro Series race. We'll just have to see how that all goes down. We'll have 47 laps tomorrow for those guys. Keith Kent has definitely been one of the strongest drivers in this race. If Allison Rain played the same strategy, though, she would definitely be in contention for this win, but... Wall Pro Series guys watching this one, and they are figuring some things out. Bongsnor looking to get his first points of the season. Same with Brock Nelson, who is getting around there in the 37. They're seventh and eighth right now. Caleb Rose. Keith Kent is looking for his first points of the season. He's looking to get the win as well. That'd be 12 points, and that'll be a great boost in this title run for Keith Kent if he can get it done here today. Looking for his first ever win. He's going to have three laps to go, so only unless something drastic happens. I think Keith Kent's going to pull away with this one, get this job done here at the Nashville Super Speedway. Big question is, how will the podium go? Mark Moore, Johnny Bazooka, the past two winners of the season so far. Mark Moore won at Daytona, Bazooka won at South Boston. Mark Moore is going to take this uh, third position away from the 17 machine here of Johnny Bazooka. Good move there out of Mark Moore. He's got the speed on the 17 right now. Bazduco, I think his tires are starting to fall off just a bit right here. Bongsinor might get a position here on Christian Master. That's another point right there for Bongsinor in this championship, but no one's going to get to Keith Kent here today. That 75 is out of here. Good run for Mitchell Henderson. Going to more than double his points if he finishes there in the second position. Mark Moore going to close in on Bazduco by one point. But Bustuco will uh, 
Hold on to that point. Slee is heading into Chicagoland next time out. Great run for him here. Bonington might have a shot here on Master. That'll be for the fifth position. That's six points right there if Bonington can get it. White flag in the air for Keith Kent. Two second lead on the 89 of Mitchell Henderson. And Keith Kent played the strategy to his favor here, grabbing the lead away from Allison Rain. And Rain has actually fallen outside the top 10. I think all the guys who went, with, went no tires or fuel only have fallen outside. There's your race win. Keith Kent wins the Nashville 65K. Mitchell Henderson, Mark Moore, Johnny Bazduco, Alex Bongsignor, Caleb Rose. Christian Master, Brock Nelson, Ace Garcia, Silas Orta receiving championship points here today at the Nashville Super Speedway. Brandon Yodel held on to that fastest lap, though. He'll start on the pole at Chicagoland. And you have the 75 machine of Keith Kent will be starting alongside him. Noah Clifton, Elijah Gordon, Allison Rain, Mark Moore. 53 machine of Alex Bonsner, who's really fast at the end of that race. John Davis, John Andrews, Mitchell Henderson, Caleb Rose, Trey Smith. 37 machine of Brock Nelson, 33 of Brian Webb. 90 of Silas Orta, Ace Garcia, Christian Master, Addison, Gerald, Ian Hall. Johnny Bazooka will start last. The Chicagoland Speedway. Very interesting right there. That was an interesting race, and I think it's definitely going to be a bit of a preview of what we're going to see tomorrow in the Wawa Pro Series here. Uh, I did not see that strategy play happening. I thought everyone would take tires. Now, the thing about tomorrow's race, they're going to have a lot more time after their cycle of pit stops, so I don't think we're going to see that strategy as much. But I think these guys thinking, oh, there's only 10 laps to go. Let's see what happens. Didn't quite expect that much of a fall off and the guys who took tires received points the guys who did not take tires did not receive points it's basically how it went Allison Rain fell to 13th she could have easily won this race and because she didn't take tires she fell at 13th it's not not exactly how it works Keith Kemp though gets the race victory first career win on the channel a great job done out of that Outer Island Motorsports team Mitchell Henderson with second and Mark Moore with the podium here from Nashville I mentioned next race going to be at the Chicagoland Speedway, assuming the schedule goes off all right. I mean, I, I don't have any trips planned for the rest of the year, so, you know, we should have a little bit more time to get things all figured out. But it uh, should be a fun one there from the Chicagoland Speedway, hopefully this weekend, if everything goes to plan. Thank you guys so much for watching. Congratulations to Keith Kent for winning here at Nashville. See the starting lineup for Chicago in there on the right-hand side of your screen. And here are the point settings after three races in the HERS Dash Series. Thank you guys so much for watching. Once again, we'll try and do better the next time. Congratulations to Keith Kent for getting it done. And I will see you guys later.